Stonehenge, England's most mysterious ancient monument. On a site older than the pyramids of ancient Egypt, 85 massive stones, some weighing more than 40 tons, stand guard on a remote and windswept plain. Why is it here? What is it for? How was it built? The answers are lost in the mists of time. Myth links Stonehenge to England's mysterious druids, Celtic priests who are said to have practiced ritual sacrifices. This program asks, who built Stonehenge? And unmasks the face of a man who may have helped build this astonishing ancient monument. Forget towering skyscrapers or the engineering achievements of the world's modern cities. This construction job was really tough. No cranes, no hoists, no machinery. Just massive rocks, some heavier than a fully laden 18-wheel truck. A structure so old that the rocks could only have been heaved into place by sheer muscle power alone. Still standing thousands of years later, dramatic and alluring. Stonehenge dominates Salisbury Plain in the south of England. It has fascinated people since before recorded history and still captures imaginations today. Amazingly, unlike most ancient ruins, this is not a complete ruin. Today, it remains more or less how its architects wanted it to be. Very open plan, great ventilation, but a strong and ultimately long-lasting construction. Perhaps unsurprisingly, no one knows what such a design might have been for. It's not recognizable as a church or a temple or a long abandoned building. It just sits there in massive ancient splendor, being Stonehenge. One thing it has done over thousands and thousands of years is fascinate all those who come here. To think the people that built this did all that they did to build it, it's tremendous. I mean, just look at it, it's unbelievable. It's a, it's a magical place. In the public mind, Stonehenge has long been associated with one mysterious peoples, the Druids. The Druids were known as wise men, teachers and religious priests for the Celtic peoples ruling much of Northern Europe more than 2,000 years ago. They believed in the immortality of the soul, sometimes making human sacrifices to aid Celtic warriors in battle or as a ritual to cure the gravely ill. Those claiming to follow the ancient Druid ways still meet here at summer solstice on the 21st of June, the longest day of the year when the sun rises directly into the heart of the circle. The monument's central axis aligns closely with the midsummer sunrise. Nowadays, these summer solstice celebrations turn into lengthy public parties. But in times past, long before the birth of Christ, these stones have probably witnessed real Druid ceremonies. Bodies have been found in this area, not the victims of Druid sacrifice, but human remains more than 4,000 years old. Could such bodies help solve the age-old mystery of who erected these stones? It is a structure that lies at the heart of an area of England, steeped in monuments to now long-forgotten pagan religions.
In this mystical heartland of England, there seems to be an ancient association with circles. Mounds that are circular, circles of rock, and circular shapes from our distant past. And even today, mysterious links seem to flourish. The area is famous for crop circles, incredibly complex patterns appearing literally overnight in cornfields. People marvel at huge crop circles made in the dead of night by a secret network of hoaxes, though some still credit their creation to alien visitors. And yet, however intricate and huge the crop circle designs become, none can rival the mysteries of Stonehenge. The design evolved over many generations. The first stage of construction consisted of a circular ditch and bank. Then a second phase consisting of timber structures. The third phase saw the arrival of stones, some of which were repositioned over the years. The largest stones are 23 feet tall and weigh more than 44 tons. That's the same as six double-decker buses. In total, more than 1,500 tons of rock, the weight of 10 steam locomotives. Perhaps most amazing of all is the precision with which it's been built. Some believe that the massive stones have been carefully aligned with stars in the heavens. At some stage in its creation, the circle of upright stones was topped by huge carved rock lintels. These huge lintel stones are nearly perfectly level, despite being built on sloping ground. Within this sits a circular arrangement of smaller uprights known as blue stones. And in the middle, is a horseshoe of the largest stones of all, a series of three slab constructions known as the trilithons. Stonehenge is unique. Nothing quite like it has been built before or since. But the question remains, who built it? There are a lot of likely suspects. The first humans in Britain at the end of the last ice age were primitive Stone Age hunter-gatherers. Then came waves of invaders and settlers from Europe and the ancient world. Druids, Celtic priests were preeminent until they in turn were swept away by the Romans, the empire building civilization who 2000 years ago conquered most of the then known world. Could any of these peoples be realistic candidates for the job of drafting and constructing Stonehenge? How can we decipher the available evidence to uncover who was really responsible? Stonehenge does not give up its secrets easily. But there are clues to be found if you know where to look.